what do you want more? Do you want God or do you want the world? Whoever is a friend of the world is an enemy to God. And, you know, it's like, it's either you're for me, you're for me or you're against me. And God is all for you. He never goes halfway on his word. He wants to give you an abundance of happiness and eternal life. So you got to do your, your share. And it's hard because you, becoming a Christian, you think, you have this joy. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm saved. God is the most amazing thing in the world. Jesus did this and that for me. The Holy Spirit's in me. I can feel it all the time. And then your friends will hit you up. Hey, come hang out with me. And you're like, oh my gosh, last time we did that was so fun. But then you think, oh, they want to get drunk. They want to get high. Is that something Jesus would do? You know, something you got to ask yourself. Like, what would Jesus do? People laugh at that because, you know, it kind of sounds silly. You know, you're about to say something bad about somebody. What would Jesus do? What would he say? But really, it's something very helpful. It's something that's helped me many times. Because in First Peter, it says, Be holy, for I am holy. So, yeah, it's hard to turn away from the world. But it's so worth it because Jesus wants to give you an abundance of happiness. And like I said, you just got to ask yourself, what do you want more? And people are going to call you judgmental when you say, I'm sorry, I'm not really, I'm not going to drink anymore because of my walk with God, it would be wrong. And they're going to get mad at you, a lot of them. They're going to call you judgmental, they're going to say, oh, I saw you get wasted before and now you're going to tell me that it's wrong and they're not going to get it. But if you just hold strong and true to how you are, they might, they'll think about that one day, they'll think on that when they're hit rock bottom and they don't know where else to go and they're... You know, they might get curious about Jesus, and you might be the only Bible they've ever read, the only example of a true Christian they've ever met. So hold strong to it. Don't let anybody turn you away from how you are in Christ. Be strong. Be a true Christian. You know, and avoid all evil presence. You know, like, even the way you talk is huge. What you say, the things you put on Facebook. And so just be careful. Be wary. Be cautious. Be loving and patient and just just ask yourself all the time, anything you do, like, would Jesus do this? Is this something right in God's eyes? And it'll take you really far in your Christian walk, in your walk with God. I love you all. God bless. If you feel inspired, share this. And again, I just want to invite anybody to church if you want to come to church with me. I would just love it. So just message me privately or comment whatever you feel like. Just get a hold of me. And the door is always open. And if you feel like you have something to share or say, don't be afraid to. There's never anything wrong to say about Jesus. Especially if you feel like it's something that could help people or that Jesus would be glad in you sharing for him. I love you all. God bless.